Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's enter Celia, Town of Sorcery. Now that we know its secret from Gowry. Oh, and I'm going to try using the Rock Sling as my main spell now. Instead of... <clears throat> excuse me, instead of Great Glenstone Shard. We'll see how that goes. Ah! Hmm. Something I didn't consider about Rock Sling before is that it has a longer cast time, and it also... Let me just test this. I'm pretty sure you can't move while you're casting it. Yeah, you can move with Craiklin's Stone Shard. Slowly, of course, but you can move. Yeah, you can't move while you're casting. Rock Sling. Ah! Oh my god. So they said, light the candles in the, I don't know, something. Uh, what exactly did it say? <laughs> I should know better than light the candles in the something. Light three flames atop the candle towers to break the seal. Three flames. So that's probably the seal. Aristocrat boots. Doesn't sound like they might be pretty. Oh, wait. No, those are not. Travel attire worn by nobles in the capital. Oh, we've seen those before. If only I had a depths butthole. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, it's just trash. That is a door. Not a secret one, right? No. Okay, the mobility thing is pretty huge, actually, so I don't think Rock Sling is going to completely replace Great Glenstone Shard. It's still a really good spell. But yeah, the mobility and the long cast time is a bit of a problem. Behold, Pickle.
think a melee might be better for these spellcasters. That's what I'm hearing. Wah! Oh no. Oh. I don't want to lose my rune. That Scarlet Rob built up real fast. We've seen this before, but yeah, it's so cool to see the marionettes being just obsessed with glintstone. They love it. Mesmerized by it. Toxic mushrooms. Hmm. Travel over all the roofs. Ah, oh, there's an item over there. Cerulean Tear Scarab. I'm guessing it makes health potions heal more, but you take more damage. That would fit the mold of all the other ones we've seen. Slightly increases the recovery effects of the Flask of Cerulean Tears, but increases damage taken. Yeah. Gotta be one of them. Offer light. There's three of these. A seal was broken in town somewhere. Oh, I guess each one unlocks a seal, and then once you get them all, then it unlocks the ultimate seal. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, and there's the third one off in that direction. Stone Sword Key. 
I'll toss that in my pile. Sorry, little beetle. I should have wore a double slash. Yeah, just saw one of the seals disappear. That one. Staff of Loss? Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Um. There you are. Staff missing its glenstone, wielded by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through acts of asceticism. The staff is only capable of casting invisibility sorceries, but that is reason enough for some to wield it. Can only cast invisibility sorceries. Interesting. Boosts invisibility sorceries. I don't have any. Night Comet. Ooh. You spell. Glintstone Staff. Have I found that before? Possibly. Staff with the Glintstone embedded at the tip, a catalyst for casting sorceries. Sorceries must be memorized first at a site of lost grace, and a staff must be equipped to cast them. <laughs> That's like your first staff. Scaling is terrible, but of course it's not upgraded. Don't think I'm going to be using that, though. Doesn't seem notable in any way. Oh, a painting. Well, obviously, given the color... Given the color, it's in Kaled. 
I think I know where that is, actually. I think that's in the battlefield where we fought Rodan. Yeah, that's Redmain Castle in the background, and then the ruins are in the foreground, which, well, you can't see the ruins on the map, but we encountered the ruins. That's just a drop from one of those mobs. Nothing I need to pick up. Imbued sword key. <gasps> I can go back to the four belfries and find a new place. Yeah, get the last belfry. I have all the others. Precious item ahead, seed. Oh yeah, I saw that. I need four golden seeds to get more flasks now. So there's also that, yeah, that way down there that I can go. I wonder if this leads to the same place. This leads off the map. Uh, where is the map for this area? Right there. I need 30,000 runes to level up now. Oh, I have a new spell. Oh, there it is. Night Comet fires semi-invisible magic comet. 24 FP, so pretty expensive. And takes 38 int, so it's a pretty high level spell. So what's the... um? What's the advantage of it being semi-invisible? I guess against pl other players, maybe it's harder for them to see that it's coming, so they might not dodge it, but what does that mean for AI? Do, does AI not try to dodge it, maybe? What does that look like? Hmm, it's got a pretty short range. I wouldn't say semi-invisible, like not to a real player. You can cast it pretty fast. I wonder how much damage it does. Oh, the 
Look at the grass and the wind. So pretty. Let's test out the damage right now. 504. Let's do a normal hit. By normal, I mean a Great Glenstone Shard. 430. Again. 504. Yeah, so it doesn't do that much more damage than a Great Glenstone Shard, but costs a lot more, so... The only way that's good is if there's something special about it, like enemies don't try to dodge it. Because otherwise it's a lot more expensive for nothing, but I feel like enemies might not try to dodge it. Otherwise, why would it say semi-invisible? That's gonna mean something. Do I want to go up here, or do I want to go the other way? I don't know, let's... Oh, the bones are coming together. Let's try up here. Just see where it goes. Yeah! I did it! Oh, it doesn't lead anywhere, though. Where you right? Ooh, oh! Oh, I see! Thank you for that! That's not rolling down the hill, that's... that's aimed at, at me. It is a very directional ball. I'm waking up a lot of bones. Swamp of Aeonia looks so... So... What's the word? Dramatic from here. What are they? Oh, it's those buck things we saw in the Celia cave that cast... That like... Um... That like machine gun of white little... Bullets. Love that spell. Church of the Plague. <laughs> oh, you can see the waves in the wind. Look at that. That's so cool. Like, in, you can actually see the distinct waves. I wonder how they did that. How do you make that happen? Oh, it's the person I need to deliver the needle to.
Sacred Tear. Oh, they're missing their right arm. They just put a tourniquet over it. I hope this helps. Averting your eyes for a moment. Sure. Well, that was easier than expected. But why do I feel so? Is it still alive? I think they're barely breathing. But they are alive. Let's pass some time. They're standing. Okay. That's that's really good. Prosthesis wearer heirloom. Did their eyes look like that before? I don't know if we could even see their eyes before. They also have a kind of white... Like a white splotch. A bunch of white splotches on their right cheek. Our left. Well, it seems to have done them good for now. I'm still very, very suspicious. A talisman engraved with a scene from a heroic tale raises dexterity. Though born into the accursed rot, when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, she gained wings of unparalleled strength. Raises dex by five. That's really good. More important than raising stamina recovery speed? Maybe. But I'm going to leave it for now. I'm so unnerved and suspicious about this whole thing. Like, the very first thing I want to do is go back and talk to Gowrie. Ah, oh, they're both here now. Oh, no. Just... Just them. Oh. Hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me. So I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, 
I needed someone to say farewell to. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. Well, I must focus. I must. This whole thing is so unnerving. God, I hope we see them again. Millicent? Or Millicent? I think it was Millicent. The fact that Gowrie's gone is just so unnerving. Going from the Church of the Plague, given that we're pretty high up, I think we can reach this pretty easily. The map? Because I remember the map was very, very high up. When we came out of the Deep Sea Offer Well, we were at the bottom of a huge cliff. The map was up on the cliff, so yeah. I'm just going to rush it. I'm not going to pay attention to anything else. I mean, well, <laughs> if I find, if I see something notable, I'll remember it for later, but... I'm not going to stop for anything. I just want that map before I continue in Celia. Whee! Grail's Dragon Barrow. Oh, that's a dragon. Oh, that's another dragon. That's a big dragon, and there's small drag. Oh, wow. Um... That didn't sound good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, it's another dragon. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if I have to get off my horse to get it. I'm in combat so I can't teleport or look at the map. Okay, yeah, we're fine now. Ah. Just, yeah, I really wanted to reveal this part of the map. Although, the map is so, again, red and, like, burned and corrupted, it's really hard to see much at all. Especially the terrain. <clears throat> the terrain. But there was another place unlocked by unlocking the seals. Back in Celia. out here to the right, I think. Yeah, here. Oh. That's a boss. Alright. Nox Swordstress, Nox Priest. Oh, that spell is so good. Also, what a cool combo. These enemies, I mean. What a cool duo. I love their weapons. Look at that. Oh, it extends. That is so cool. I don't want to just kill them before I can see some of their moves. Show me your moves. I wish I saw more of the other one before I killed him. Oh, I hope we get their weapons. Let's try melee. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That was a really easy duo, but very cool. Nox Flowing Sword. Oh, 
I think I have just enough to level up. I... Want more health. Nox Flowing Sword. It's a curved sword. Has a special Ash of War called Flowing Form. It has pretty modest requirements, but it is a dex weapon. Requiring 8 strength and 15 dex. A grim weapon wielded by a swordsman of the Eternal City. This shodel has a blade as fine as a needle. Forged from the liquid metal of a silver tear, it's thoroughly tempered until hardened. Flowing form. Temporarily transforms armament into its liquid form. Swing the armament like a whip to perform a sweeping slice over a wide area. That sounds so cool. <laughs> oh, I gotta see this thing in action. Normal fast attacks. Strong attack. Jump. And special. Oh, oh the look of it and the sound. That is so cool. So can I... What if I keep pressing it? Will it combo? Nope. Just the one hit. Yep, just the one hit. Nothing special to connect into it. But yeah, that seems to reach quite far and very, very wide. So that might be good against large groups. Wait, what was this called? Chair Crypt of Celia. Not even going to check if it's a real wall. I mean, a real fake wall. Nah, they're all liars. Are you ready? Didn't expect friend? Friend? What do you mean? Lusat's Glintstone Staff. Oh, God, I've gotten so many staffs lately. I can't use it. It takes 52 int. Wow. Sorcery scaling on its at, at its current level is 60. That's awful. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> Staff of the primeval Glintstone Sorcerer Lusat. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Enhances power of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. Hmm. Again, one I'm going to have to look at on the wiki to figure out if that's worth a damn. Okay, so from reading the wiki, this thing, um, the increase in FP cost is 50%, so spells cost 50% more FP, which is quite steep. Um, the damage boost that it gives to all sorceries, I was a little bit confusing in the article. It really wasn't clear. But it sounds like the damage boost is just from the fact that apparently it scales really well. Obviously right now it's sorcery scaling is 60, which is terrible. But I think once it's upgraded, it can actually get to a very, very high sorcery scaling. But at a 50% increased FP cost, like this, this is something that would only potentially be worth it if my int was extremely high. We're talking like 60 or above. And right now my int is, I think it's 40? It's 48 on the screen, but I think it's 40 flat and then has a bunch of boosts. Yeah, no, this is definitely not a weapon for now, obviously, and probably not a weapon for the future, it sounds like. People are saying it's just not that good. My favorite place, Rot View Balcony. I want to see the liquid form in action against a group. Hmm. 314. Now, what's a normal quick attack do? 99. And the range. Yeah, that's really nice. 
does like three times a normal quick attack's worth of damage and doesn't use that much FP. I was looking for the location of this painting here, and I don't think I've actually visited. I mean, even though it is a painting of the battle that we had with Radon, it's not actually a painting from where I battled Radon. It's actually from above it on the cliff. So you see the castle in the background, Red Main Castle. And then look at those pillars. So there's the one pillar in the center that the top bit is connected, a full arch. And the one just to the right of it is an arch, but has a little crack in the center. That's kind of like a chunk taken out of it. That is these just above me. See it? Complete archway to my left and then to my right, the one with the crack taken out of it. And in the picture, that's below where the picture was painted. So it must be from up there. Let's do the last Belfry Tower. What is this one again? Wasn't there a description of what each one was? Be wary of Butterfly. I can't wait to see where we are on the map. That's always the most exciting part. Where are you taking me? Chapel of Anticipation. <gasps> this place! This castle on this, like... Is it floating? I want to say floating, but maybe it's just isolated rock. Been looking at this place forever. Never knew how to get here. I wonder if it's going to let me get to the whole place, though, or just a little part of it, like all the other uh, Belfry Towers. Oh! Well. They did say, be wary of butterflies, and I was walking towards the butterflies. I um, didn't hear that warning, and I paid for it. Wow, you really got to be wary of the butterflies. Let's try that again. Um, wait, where are my souls? Oh. Yeah, the rock's not there anymore. So I couldn't put my souls there. That's so evil. <laughs> they put those pretty butterflies that are unique. So instantly I just want to go check them out. So evil. Pretty though. So is this just leading to a boss fight? Mason Butterfly. Oh, that's what those are. I've gotten the item before, but I don't think I've actually seen them. Or never really bothered to look at them closely, at least. Here we go. Well, hello there. Oh! This is the starting boss that you're meant to lose against. Ooh, broke their poise. Did it again. Ah, I don't have enough time to go in for another hit, though. Oh, I'm slow rolling. Ah, uh, because my rune's gone. Let me drink. There, now I can fast roll.
ornamental straight sword and golden beast crest shield. Take another rune arc so I can have the other weapon equipped. Let there be revenge, yes. Visions of a lover. God, everyone's a monster fucker, aren't they? Hey, live your best life. I'm, <laughs> I'm not coming for you. If you want to fuck monsters, good for you. I mean, God knows I wanted to fuck Lady Dimitrescu. Anyway, <clears throat> I totally forgot what it was. Oh, ornamental straight sword. Modest requirements, 10 strength, 14 dex, 110 crit, so a little bit more crit. Golden tempering is the special. Slender straight sword patterned after an antique ornament. Superior swordsmen prefer to wield one in each hand. After falling from grace, the dregs of the golden lineage sought power and purpose in the past. Golden Tempering. Cross the two swords to grant their attack Holy Essence. While in effect, a strong attack performs a dual-wielding combo attack. Hmm. Holy Essence. It's interesting. Because the weapon itself doesn't require faith. Which I would associate with a holy weapon. I mean, it doesn't do holy damage either. It only does it with the special. If you have a special that does holy damage, is the damage that it does dependent, or, or does it scale on your faith? How does that work? God, I have no idea. We also have a shield. Takes 24 strength. Shield of dull gold with a beast engraved as its crest. Lighter than most great shields and subsequently easier to wield. The beast depicted is Sarosh, aged counselor who guides the golden lineage. It looks very pretty. And yeah, 24 for a great shield is relatively low. This one's... Um, yeah, I just have these, threes, these three great shields. 36, 30, and then 24. Still a lot more strength than I have, though. But let's check out that weapon. It's really meant to be dual-handed. Oh, I love those. I love that moveset. It looks really cool. That's the quick attack, strong attack. And special. Okay, so in this mode, strong attack does something special? Yeah, quick attack is normal. Strong attack. Ooh, whoa. <gasps> That's the charged up version of it, so... Uh, whoops. If you just tap strong attack, it does this. Which sounds like it does a lot of poise damage. And you move forward and it's like the scooping motion. Oh, but if you hold it down, it does this. Ooh. Oh, these are so cool. Not for my character build, but actually the other character that I'm playing off screen is a, uh, a dex build. Just like basically the same sort of character I played in Dark Souls 2 and 3. No shield and dex. I think this would be perfect for them. Be wary of boss. Well done. Time for joy. Dead end ahead. Warrior ahead. Wait, I'm so confused. Is it a dead end or is there a warrior or I guess there could be a necessary item ahead. Bullshit, but apparently you can live because there's a message down there. I'm not going to read it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, there might be a warrior and a dead end, I suppose. Be wary of rump. Meaning look behind you. 
Watch your ass. I'm scared. Nothing happened. Okay. If only I had a tail? Gorgeous view ahead. Yeah. Stormvale Castle. And all the weird holes it has. item, the Stormhawk King? Wait, what? Because it looks like an ash, but it's not. Ashes of a hawk, revered by all others as sovereign, back in the days when Stormvale's winds still raged like no other. This ancient monarch is proud, however, refusing to answer anyone's summons. Oh, that's cool. So it is basically ashes, but one in which they will not answer the call. But it's a key item. Who wants this? I don't remember anyone in Stormvale Castle that seemed like they would want something like this. But it's a key item, so it must be used for something. Where you have right, and then item ahead. Another Stormhawk. This one can be summoned? Yeah. Stormhawk Den. Spirit of a fierce hawk that faithfully rendered lifelong service to the old king of Stormvale long ago, when the true storm raged. Its cries embolden its fellows in battle, and the tempestuous winds that encircle it shred through foes. That's a really interesting word. Like a tempest. Tempestuous. Wait, is that... That's not the one we've been feeding eyeballs to, is it? Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. I don't think that's... I, I can't tell. They're wearing the same thing, but it doesn't mean it's the same person. Why there's so many bloodstains in here? How did you all die? I tried to fight something that came from the doors. They all seem to die in one hit is the disturbing part. <laughs> Fuck off. Let's try out the ornamental straight sword. Ooh, that's a lot of hits real fast. 
And how about this? We're just going to do the normal strong attack. 248. Oh, it can hit multiple people. And yeah, it gives you... Oh, it gives you a fair bit of range because of the fact that you lunge forward with it. Now let's try the charge it up strong attack. Oh, that is deeply satisfying. Oh, it takes a lot of FP to cast that buff. Toys unbreakable from the slime. Yeah, I wish it did bleeding or something like that, though. That'd make all those hits really, really worth it. It's very satisfying, though. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, although we are certainly not done with Kaled, I think I want to just take a little break from it and... Go back to Deep Siafra, or just Siafra River, rather. Because now that we've defeated Radon, the stars should be back in place, and we should be able to continue on from there to the city of Nokron, I think? By the way, because I keep forgetting, I have a Patreon. Link's in the description. You can get exclusive playthroughs. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, check it out if you want to. Anyway, thanks for watching.